Okay, so I'm going to wrap up Harold Bloom, I think, now. Um, by the way, I mentioned earlier that Lion King is a version of Hamlet. Um, I don't know if you knew that. I can't remember if I talked about that or not. But, um, right, uh, the, the, the Simba is Hamlet, and his father is killed. Who killed his father? His father's brother. And then Simba has to kind of come back and take back the kingdom. Uh, you know, Timon and Pumbaa are a little bit like Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, where you have the story. Now, it's very different. There's a lot of different things. For starters, Lion King has a happy ending. So there's your twist. Uh, they took Hamlet, and they gave it a happy ending. Um, every work of art is a response to an earlier work of art, says Harold Bloom. Um, I think we can finish this up now. Um, he has a section called Summary here. Um, every poem is a misinterpretation of a parent poem. Um, by the way, let's talk about the use of the word misinterpretation. Um, you might be like, well, why a misinterpretation? Why isn't it just an interpretation? Because he, it's a misinterpretation because there's something aggressive and crazy about it. Um, it's a misinterpretation because it's nuts. Think about, one way to think about it is sort of the correct interpretation of a work of art is when, and this never really happens, but theoretically, it's Shakespeare says something and you interpret it and say what he meant. Do you see how you didn't generate anything new there? It's just a copy, right? So if, if there's this, this line of Shakespeare is confusing to me. Professor, explain it. And then I put it in modern day language and I'm like, see, what this means is this other thing over here. It's accurate. But you see, there's nothing for you to do. I didn't create anything new. I repeated. Remember, remember uh, it repeats, right? If, if you take Shakespeare, here's what Shakespeare said. Here's what he meant. All you did was repeat. Right? You just put Shakespeare into other words. You repeated it. But if Shakespeare writes a, a, a story and you do a version of that story and change it, uh, then you've done something new and you've created art. Um, the, Harold Bloom's book is called The Anxiety of Influence um, because being influenced causes anxiety. Uh, because you feel like when you get influenced, all you can think of is other people's thoughts. Um, if you, if you, uh, you, you may find yourself in your creative writing just repeating things that other people have thought of. Um, you may find yourself in your essays. Just Some of my students get stuck and they just write their essays. They just repeat what I said in class. Um, they've been influenced. Um, but that influence should cause anxiety because you should want to say your own thing. But when you study deeply, you find yourself repeating what other people said, and that creates anxiety. And so what you need to do to relieve that anxiety is to create something new so you feel like you have something to do. Um, so let's take a look at the end of Harold Bloom here. Um, so he says here, um, oh, 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 don't tip over on me. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey, there's Maureen. You, you, want, you want to be on film, Maureen? Uh, yeah, I would love salad. That's great. Just wrapping this video up. Thank you. Hey. 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 How's it going? I, this is, I'm, I'm getting special food. This is, this is yeah, very exciting. I made, I made salad. Ooh, look, there's salad. Oh, look cool. Salad. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Why do you have a turkey? Uh, it just was out here when I got out here. Yeah. Um, so if you look here... Um, um, poetry is the anxiety of influence, is misprison or a disciplined perverseness. Um, you are twisting other people's artwork, um, but it's disciplined. It's controlled. You're, you're not just coming up with weird ideas. You're controlling these ideas. Um, um, poetry is misunderstanding, misinterpretation, misalliance. Um, and I'm skipping some of this because the rest of this is kind of ridiculous. Um, all right. Boom. Here's the, the last thing. This is what I really want. The last sentence here is extremely important. Criticism is the art of knowing the hidden roads that go from poem to poem. Criticism. And remember criticism? Remember the word criticism comes from crisis, judgment, and literary critics. It's what you do when you judge works of art. This is criticism, which is what you guys do in your papers and your essays. But really, anybody who cares about art... He says, what we really need to do is you need to know the hidden roads that go from poem to poem. Most people think when you look at a work of art, what you're supposed to do is just sort of figure it out. But Bloom says what you have to do is trace how it twists from one thing to another. You have to follow the pathway. How did it get from one kind of work of art to a different work of art? Um, because every work of art is a version of another work of art. Uh, and that's really, that's Harold Bloom's point. Um, in my personal experience, this explains more art to me than any of the philosophers that, we've look, that we look at in this class. This is the one where I'm like, oh shit, he's totally, absolutely right. And what I would love for you guys to do in the comments to this post is maybe give me works of art and I will do my best to show um, that one is a version of the other. 
Um, I'll give you a crazy one if you want. You probably, this is actually is not a useful one, but I'm going to do it anyway. Avengers Endgame is a response to The Leftovers, which is a television show um, in which 2% of the population simply vanish. Um, in Avengers, 50% of the population vanishes, but it's a twist on this kind of earlier idea. Um, uh, I, all right. So I think that's pretty much uh, what I want to do with Harold Bloom. Um, I'm going to be in touch with you guys about papers and all these things. I realize um, there's a lot of chaos going on at CUNY right now, and it's very confusing. Um, for me, uh, what you guys know you need two papers into me by the end of the semester. Um, just get them to me by the end of the semester, and you know, let's do our best. I'm going to try to figure this stuff out. Um, if you do decide to write a paper about Harold Bloom, you're going to need to do two works of art. And you're going to have to show me how does one work of art get twisted into the other work of art? And is the second person doing a good job twisting the first thing into a totally different shape? Um, okay. And I think that's probably it for this. Um, anyway, I hope you're watching these things and, you know, still involved uh, and you guys are the best. And uh, I think I'm done with Harold Bloom now, right? I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much all I want to do. Okay, I'm stopping here. Well, thanks, guys, and I will see you all uh, in the next video series.